We continue our special month-long troubleshooter reports on a Portland man who's also a convicted felon allegedly running a real estate business without a license. Well, here's Andy Lascano live in the studio with this troubleshooter's special report. Hey, Andy. Guys, last week, Jesse and Thelma Lopez told their story to the troubleshooters, how they bought their first home from Fred Rich nearly nine years ago, only to discover discrepancies in their payments. I've already paid $101,000 since 09, and of that $101,000, $1,200 is my principal. Yeah. So if you don't call that theft, I don't know what you call theft. Well, tonight in an explosive interview, a woman who says she was Fred Rich's accountant tells us her story, even though she says she fears retaliation. The reason I'm doing this is right and wrong. Colleen Walker is telling the troubleshooters why she's speaking out about the man she says she used to work for, Portland businessman Fred Rich. While you worked for Fred Rich, did he ask you to do something that you knew was illegal? Yes. Did you do it? Uh, no. Walker says she was Rich's accountant from November 2016 till May this year when she says he fired her over a disagreement over one of his tax returns. When I did a, his uh, 2010 taxes and he owed money, he went through the roof. Not paying it, not doing it. I've never paid taxes, I'm not going to. Walker told us she bought this house in Portland from Rich for nearly $175,000, but that the $4,400 down payment she claims she paid isn't reflected in any paperwork, a common practice by Rich, according to Walker. And remember, she worked for him. Well, um, you worked for him. Why didn't you say, hey, uh, what's going on here? Um, I really don't have an answer for that. Because I, I guess I just thought it would work itself out. But it hasn't. Walker admits she hasn't made payments on the house since Rich fired her in May and that Rich tried to foreclose on it. He's tried twice, but again, he has no balance. I don't know how you can say somebody's behind, but you can't, you don't know how much. And you just go and foreclose. People don't usually stand up to Fred. Fred loves to um, sell or rent to people who um, don't understand or they don't speak English. Fred should know that I know what's going on. Like Jesse Lopez, who also uncovered discrepancies in his contract with Rich, Walker has presented her information to several state and federal agencies. The state, I think, has a very good grip on it and they're all over it. Um, the feds, you know, they're trying to figure out, you know, money laundering, mail fraud, you know. Walker assures us that every one of her claims can be backed up with the information in these folders, but she still fears Fred Rich. When he sees this on the news and he sees you, mm -hmm. do you fear retaliation, the repercussions of all this? I'll be gone. But yeah, I do. Well, now, Walker has moved out of that house in Portland, but she called us today saying Rich foreclosed on the house yesterday, and we confirmed that with the San Patricio County Tax Office. Since our first story aired last week, many of you have contacted us with stories about your experiences with Fred Rich. We've been to his Portland office twice to give him an opportunity to tell us his side of these stories, but each time we've been told he's not there, so we've left our contact information. In our next report, we'll tell you why Fred Rich became a convicted felon and whether he has a license to do what he's doing. As always, if you ever need help from the troubleshooters, give us a call, 885-0100, guys.